This tutorial will show you how to get great recorded tones out of an electric guitar amplifier. We are using a vintage Fender Deluxe Reverb amp from 1969. This is a great workhorse amp for the studio because it gets beautiful clean tones, but at only 22 watts you can crank it up all the way for awesome tube distortion without blowing the roof off. The first step in recording great amp tone is to set the controls on the amp itself. Do this with your face right in front of the amp so that you are hearing the full frequency range it produces. To record this amp, we are using a Shure SM57 LC microphone. This is probably still the most widely used mic for recording guitar amplifiers because it just has a response that sounds great and only costs about a hundred bucks. The SM57 is a dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphones are your best choice for placing very close to loud sources like amplifiers and drums. Behind the grill cloth of your amp is one or more loudspeakers. In the center of the speaker cone is a smaller circular piece that covers the voice coil. Place your microphone right at the edge of the voice coil for the clearest tone. The mic should be about one or two inches from the grill cloth. Here are a few short examples of what this mic sounds like all by itself. It really is amazing that such an inexpensive mic can sound so good. You could very well stop here, but adding a second microphone right next to the 57 will allow you to blend two different sounds. This can add real depth to your tone, and it is a simple technique, but one surprisingly few home recordists know about. We are using a Sennheiser MD421 as our second mic. It is a dynamic mic just like the 57. This mic sells for almost $400, but almost any old dynamic microphone can be used for this purpose. Place the second microphone right next to the 57, also pointing at the edge of the voice coil. Here are a few examples of the sound of these two mics separately and blended together. Notice how they complement each other. Not bad, huh? By moving the faders up and down, we can really find many, many great tones. Usually, an electric guitar will be panned to one side in the mix, perhaps doubled by another guitar on the other side. And now, here is an example of how this sound might fit into a real mix. Thanks for joining us at Music United University.